Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Um, I've got a, a pretty cool one for us today. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into it here pretty quick, but before I do, I want to start off by letting everyone know that. Uh, the, this one is going to be a little bit more target, targeted towards like a younger audience, um, 13 and up. Uh, it, it It's inclusive, so everyone over the ages is welcome to use this app, obviously. But um, this app is and was kind of designed for the younger generation. So uh, I, I want to make absolutely clear clear i am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice anytime you're dealing with anything regarding nfts web3 uh blockchain technology and anything of that nature you have to be careful because it, there's a lot that can be lost and um so you know this this isn't a way to make quick money this isn't you know uh this isn't anything like that this is simply the one, the thing that I am showcasing today is simply a tool to help you learn more about uh, cryptocurrency and NFT. I think more, more specifically NFTs. But um, it is important that you understand that this this isn't a get rich quick scheme. You need to also talk to your parents um, about. Uh, you know, looking into this and, and, you know, you need to make sure they're well informed that you are just informing yourself, um, and, and learning things about this, uh, about this specific hobby. It, and that, that's all it is for me. It's a hobby. I'm, I'm just a geek on the internet. I know nothing <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. And I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't do. However, I am going to be taking a look at this app. And if it intrigues you, you know, uh, especially if you are younger, uh, make sure to, you know, talk to your parents before it, but maybe it'll be a cool experience for you. We'll get to see, we'll get to see. So, uh, basically today, what we are going to be talking about is, uh, I don't entirely know how it's pronounced. It's either Doshi or Doshi, uh, <laughs> but I, I'm going to say Doshi <clears throat> and it is web three designed for, uh, Gen Z. Basically Doshi is a web three wallet made for, uh, the Gen Z social educational, uh, and simple to use. Doshi is a, has a dynamic interface that helps users not only to access crypto easily, but and there you go, crypto, uh, but also allows teams to mint AI NFTs and learn about cryptocurrency in Doshi's Learning Academy. We may get to take a look at that today. So uh, they Doshi is the first wallet that allows users of any age to own crypto. Uh, it breaks down uh, the barriers of learning Web3 by making it understandable to all generations. And in addition, offers a safe and secure way to store cryptocurrencies. Doshi's fun learning content uh, teaches the next generation about everything Web3 and gives users real NFT uh, for completing their lessons. Uh, it's a cryptocurrency wallet designed for users 13 years and older. Uh, mint NFTs. You can mint NFTs using uh, AI directly on Dosh, Doshi, which hopefully we will get to do, uh, and I should be able to show you that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the students are rewarded with NFTs for ratifying their new learnings, and uh, fantasy trading uh, is a feature users can practice to uh, hone their trading skills with their friends. Um, <clears throat> So we are going to just jump right into that. Uh, I'll, I'll see if there's anything else really to discuss about it. You know, that, that's kind of it. We'll hopefully get access to something like this on there. Um, so uh, I'll get to see that here shortly, but we'll also look over here on their Instagram. Uh, yeah. So it's the crypto wallet for teens, education first investing, and they have the link tree right there. The bounty. Hmm. 
anyways, so uh, I'm not as much here for, I know generally we're uh, looking at their socials and stuff and getting a good overview of that, but what better way to learn about the, uh, the app than to utilize it. So that's what we are going to try and do today. Uh, and let me just flip this over here. Boom. Okay, here we go. Uh, so here it has buy, receive, send. Uh, it looks like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. There's probably other ones that are on this network, but um, there are some here. Bitcoin, Solana. Solana is up 3.98%. Man, Bitcoin did take a severe hit. But let's see. We'll go over to. So this this looks pretty similar to uh, to others. There's a little bit less here, but as far as wallets go, this looks a you know similar to other ones I've seen and that I've utilized myself. Uh, but here. Oh, so earn an NFT, crypto savvy, web three astronaut, blockchain scout, rewards, glossary. Okay, so view your earned rewards and click into locked rewards to see how you can earn them. 695 left, so there's so many left of each. Cool, interesting. Let's check out the glossary. So you have address, much like an address in the real world or a website, an address on the blockchain relates to the string of text given to identify a, a particular place or user. More specifically, it is a string of text that designates the location of a particular wallet on the blockchain and that can be used to send or receive digital assets from. Okay, so okay i see glossary so it's it's basically just all of the the words often you utilized and used whenever discussing cryptocurrencies and yeah currency that has been established as a valid form of money typically supported by a government regulation that declares it to be legal tender fiat mm. 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 But cool they have a nice little glossary here what's over here in the nft section new following trending so savvy those are the two it was showing before i want to be able to create my own can i create my own i know you said something about that oh i just realized not everything is on screen i do apologize uh, still everything won't quite be, but there should be at least more on screen now. There we go. Uh, settings. Let's see. Sign in with Face ID. Review app. For your friends. Uh, they've got Discord, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram link on here as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll start with one of the learning. Let's start with the academy first one. Okay, level progress. Let's see. Level one is all about the crypto basics. Learn about crypto, the blockchain, and Web3, and everything about NFTs. I reckon let's go through this first one. Let's see. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency know, is, is digital money that can be sent from person to person without someone in the middle making sure it's not fraudulent. Cryptocurrency is, is decentralized, meaning it doesn't rely on a central authority to manage transactions or issue currency. So imagine you were handing your friend some cash. To do that, you wouldn't need anybody's help. But before cryptocurrency, money could only be sent online with the help of a bank or financial institution. Bitcoin was the first and most well-known cryptocurrency to change this in 2009. This was made possible because of a cool new technology called blockchain. I like blockchain. the music in the blockchain background. Blockchain is a digital ledger which is available for everyone to see and it can't be edited that means everybody all over the world has the ability to see every transaction on the Bitcoin network all the way back up to the first transaction this holds everyone accountable okay we're going to continue 
is a currency that exists digitally and uses blockchain technology to record transactions. Cryptos usually don't have a central issuing or regulating authority. Instead, they have a decentralized network to record transactions. Decentralized network is an open group of people with computers all connected to the same network. Uh, all running the same software across numerous computer devices is known as nodes. The result is a peer-to-peer -peer system that allows anyone to send and receive payments anywhere in the world. These payments are recorded on a distributed public ledger called the blockchain. The blockchain is a record of all transactions updated and shared across the nodes co connected to the same chain. This distributed record is public, which means that anyone can view all transactions recorded any time. Crypto. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm being quizzed. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> what are cryptocurrencies? Uh, a cryptographic technology for currencies, obviously. Uh, digital crypto currencies based on blockchain technology couldn't be that one digital money from games to buy in-game items let's go no it is ob obviously uh the blockchain right there cryptocurrencies are based on that is so small we are going to enlarge and for a moment so you can see what it is um saying here we go there we go uh Cryptocurrencies are based on blockchain technology, which means that A, cryptos are uh, using services from a company called blockchain. What do you say? Is it A? I, I, I watched, I, I was doing the Dora. Yeah, never mind. Uh, money is put into block boxes and sent across a chain mail like chainmail armor? No. Cryptos rely on decentralized networks uh, that share a public record of transactions made. I think, I think we're gonna go with that one. <gasps> Nicely done. Next level. Ooh, blockchain scout. Bitcoin, the first crypto. This is kind of cool. I, I I kind of dig this actually. It's a it's a cool neat little way. Tell it to me. There are a lot of different cryptocurrencies out there, but before you learn about any of those, you need to learn about the OG. Bitcoin is the cryptocurrency that started it all. Without Bitcoin, none of us would even be here. But how did all that start? Well, back in 2008, during the financial housing not? crisis in the US, trust live. in the US dollar I guess I wouldn't was extremely be making this low video. because the government was bailing out all the institutions that were responsible for ruining the economy. Someone thought it'd be a good idea to create a digital currency, which was decentralized and not issued by the government. Problem was this, in order to store money online, it needed to be held in a bank or some other sort of financial institution. Financial institution was not only responsible for holding your money, but also making sure you weren't sending money twice or doing something else that was fraudulent. Because at the end of the day, money online in any form is just computer code which could be replicated infinitely. So it's the bank's job to make sure people don't just copy and paste money. And Bitcoin was trying to be money without the financial institution part. So how is this even possible? How do you stop people from copying and pasting money? Well, this new technology was created for this specific purpose called blockchain. And with it, people were able to send and digital money peer to peer without an institution in the middle making sure it's not fraudulent and it changed everything hmm. imagine picasso made a work of art but instead of painting it on a canvas he created it digitally he decides to be a bit sneaky uh, and sells the same artwork to both bob and alice telling each of them he only ever created one original artwork that's one example of what is called double spend, the double spending problem. Uh, blockchain was created to solve this problem. Transactions are recorded publicly for everyone to see and recorded across multiple devices to ensure that one tr once a transaction is written, it would need to be deleted or changed across all devices on the entire network. Now, back to our friend Picasso. If he would try to sell the same artwork twice on the blockchain, it would get caught immediately by other nodes in the network, exposing both transactions. I've seen you. 
Uh, Bitcoin was the first digital currency to solve the issue of double spending by allowing its members to verify transactions. Bitcoin created the first decentralized solution to valid online transactions. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start this quiz. Boom. Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency because it fixed the double spending problem for digital money without the need for a third party verification. Do you think it did that, that one? Uh, it had the best name to represent digital currency, obviously. Bitcoin is just a beast of a name. Uh, it invented crypto, it invented cryptography uh, technology for digital money. It did not. Uh, Bitcoin leveraged blockchain technology to uh, make buying pizza online easier. No, but my God, if they did, can you imagine? Create a payment system that wouldn't allow anyone to check on, that wouldn't allow anyone to check on transaction records. Yeah, I don't think it's that one. Uh, enable safe online peer-to-peer payments outside of the control of any central authority. Absolutely. Okay, we won't go on to the next lesson. Instead, we will go back. Wait, wait, yeah, we will go back. So yeah, so you get to do a couple of lessons. I am wondering where because I, I have been told I can do an NFT based on an AI. Um, do, bop, do, 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 so hold on. I'm wondering if I do this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this other window. Let me show you what I'm doing here. I am going to type in something bloodied oh, man. We're gonna try again. That one's okay, but but samurai. See if that helps. There we go. Try it again. Give me a real good one. I believe in you. That one's not bad. We'll do that one. So you'd be able to scan that and mint it. That's dope. That is really cool. You know what, we'll go back over there and gotta move this over there. Cool. And let's see. Hmm. Interesting though, because I still Oh yeah, and you can follow trending. 
trending NFTs. Oh, there's some cool ones in here. Look at some of these. I like this one. It's a horse dragon. What are you doing there, Thanos? What are you doing? Looking for a small one. <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> I like that uh, let's see let's go back cool so you can look just look for different NFTs and whatnot but yeah that is that is pretty awesome like so you can mint NFTs what are you doing what, what, what are you doing? What are you, what is going on here? Oh, I'm seeing both of those. But yeah, so it, it's got some pretty interesting uh, mechanics. And that is awesome that you'll get to learn. And I guess at the very end of this, I will earn a free NFT, which is dope. Um, also, you know, uh, as I showed you before, if you utilize that uh, main page and then scan it with your uh, phone, you should be able to uh, mint your own NFT on Doshi. So that's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, but before we go, I just want to reiterate, you know, it like I said, this is targeted towards uh, younger individuals, but it doesn't matter how old you are. You can utilize this to learn about the blockchain and learn about crypto and Web3 and, uh, you know, NFTs and how to trade and, uh, you know, just learn the basic mechanics of how all of these things work. And I think that's what their main goal is with this app. It's uh, pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, it's it. It is simplifying it and making it easily digestible. No complaints from me at all. Um, I feel pretty comfortable uh, after seeing what it's about, you know, saying that, you know, uh, if there are any parents that are worried about it, you know, show this to your parents and let them see the, uh, the app at work and just kind of teaching you what it is, what it does. And, uh, but, the most important thing before that is make sure it's okay with your parents. You know, sure, at the end of the day, all of this is fun. This is really cool. Uh, the fact that you can earn NFTs just by, you know, doing some very simple lessons. I'm sure it gets harder the further you go. Um, but learning about the subject matter and being rewarded for it and then learning okay, this is how I can trade. This is how I can, uh, uh, this is how NFTs are created. This is how, um, all of this works and having a better understanding of that might better prepare you for the future. Cause who knows, maybe decentralized will be the only surefire way to go in the future. And it is being utilized a lot today as well. Um, there are inherent risks. Hopefully they, uh, may teach about those inherent risks. Um, as you get further into the courses, uh, I would hope so anyway, but yeah, that's going to be kind of it for today. Uh, I was hoping that I could mint that NFT, but I don't know how I would show that because of the way I am showing you the app right now, uh, will not allow me to do that that way. I don't believe so. Uh, but it at least shows you how you can create. I showed you how you can create one, do it on their website. We will have that linked in the description below. And then we will also have the links to like their Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, as well as the important one would be the, the, uh, app itself to download for either Apple or Android. Um, and then you will be able to it, at the very least, I, if you were going to start with this, what I would start with is minting your own NFT and then going straight into the lessons, learning about those. Because if nothing else, you're getting free NFTs. And if they're ever of any worth, I don't know that theirs will be. Uh, but it's it's not about that. It, this one isn't really about the, the earning and, and whatnot that comes with it. This is about the learning. Uh, about the how the entire thing works so that's gonna be it for today uh 
be sure to leave a, a like and a comment, uh, share, you know, all that stuff. It helps out. It really does. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was interesting. I'm sorry. There, hopefully our editor is really good. There were some long portions where I paused and I was looking and trying to figure things out, but our editor's good. They'll not do me dirty, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, so you guys have a good one and take care uh, and yeah, peace.